First, number one thing is there's been a ton of people who use Groupon. They didn't, they didn't use it right. And so it, it basically sucked the life out of their business. They probably had a ton of bad experiences. And on top of that, most therapists are not good at rebooking people even without a Groupon. And so when they're only getting 20 or 30 bucks and that person didn't come back like they had hoped, it's just, they blame it all on Groupon instead of taking personal responsibility for it. And that was the same way. When I first started Groupon, bro, I sucked at it. I literally called them, I'm like, this isn't working, you know? And somehow she convinced me to continue to do it. And, I was, and, I, and so I recommitted myself. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make this work. I got freaking people in my door and we've had some people come back, but it was only like 10%, you know, it was a small yeah. number, which is still a good number in my opinion. It's still a good number, bro. It's not a bad number. If you can get these people coming back, Yeah. you know? <clears throat> and so I recommitted and I'm like, dude, I'm gonna, basically I just, I, I do this with everything I do is I'm like, what went well, what could have done, what could have been better. And then we make the changes and we test and we test again and we test again. And then eventually we come out with something that freaking works. We ended up crushing it. And it was something that I used, not for me necessarily, but anytime that I brought on a new therapist and hired a new therapist, just to keep them busy in the beginning while they're, while they're building their clientele, I would turn Groupon on and funnel all those clients to them. I showed them exactly what to do to get those people rebooked, to get them, get them to sell packages. And every single therapist that I've had, whether they were fresh out of school or six years in, had